Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at Australian dot art, made by the Aboriginal people. Aboriginal art includes work made in many different ways, including painting on leaves, wood carving, rock carving, sculpting and sand painting. All the designs, painted or drawn, have a story behind them, often related to the life of the Aboriginal people. The Aboriginal people use specific colours in their art to represent their environment such as white for the clouds in the sky, brown for the soil, red for the desert sand, and yellow for the sun. Symbols were central to Aboriginal art too, and were used to show different things or tell a story. These symbols centred on what was called the dream time, and this is the period in which Aborigine people believed that the world was created. The dream time stories are over 50,000 years old and have been handed down through the generations for all these years. Artists need permission to paint a particular story, where ancient and important stories are concerned, and particularly those containing secret or sacred information about their tribe. An artist must have permission to paint the story he or she paints. Traditional Aboriginal artists are not allowed to paint a story that does not belong to them through their family tree. Dots were used to hide secret information. Dot painting began when the Aborigines became concerned that other cultures would be able to see and understand their sacred and private information that was special to their tribe. The dots, sometimes called overdotting, were used to hide the secret iconography or symbols underneath. Today we're going to be making our own boomerangs based on the Australian dot art. So we first of all have to draw the shape of our boomerang on our piece of paper. Now, it kind of tapers towards the ends, getting a little bit thinner. So it's widest at the top, kind of getting thinner and thinner as you go towards the end of your boomerang. The ends of the boomerang are somewhat rounded. So when we're drawing it, just take those things into consideration. So let's start by drawing our boomerang. What I would do is just draw lightly until you are happy with the shape of your boomerang. Round it at the top and then back down towards the ends. Now if it's not perfect, don't worry too much because we're going to be cutting it out at the end. And round it towards the top, getting slightly wider there than it is there. And then thinning down again as we go towards the ends. Just like that. Now when you are happy with your shape you can then draw in your boomerang properly. Now boomerangs have the most beautiful designs on them and from the video that I showed you you can see all the different designs, the patterns, the colors, the dots, um, the symbols, the Aboriginal symbols and so we need to put those on our own boomerang. So have a little think about what you want to do on your boomerang. Plan it out. If you don't like it, rub it out and try again. I'm going to make my lines and my designs very simple just so that I can show you the type of things that you can do. Now what you do on one side, you do on the other side. And there's normally a sort of a feature in the middle of your boomerang like that. So I'm going to make mine concentric circles which I'm going to do in dots in a minute. I'm going to do two spiral shapes there. And then I'm going to do two half circles on the ends. Like that. And over here I'm going to do a row of dots. Right, now to paint your boomerang, we're going to have a little bit of fun. We're going to be using coffee today. Now, all of us, most of us, have got coffee in our homes um, and a lot of us don't have paints. So for today's project, that's actually great because if you don't have paint, we kind of want the natural look for this project. So to do that, we're going to use all different types of coffee. You can experiment a little bit to see which 
types of coffee make which tones and uh, which ones you like best. So I've used two different types of coffee here. I've used a pod coffee that I've just literally emptied out. I've taken the top of the coffee off and I've tipped it into here and mixed it with a bit of warm water. You can see that it's kind of separated slightly. I'm not sure if you can, um, but there are grains in it. If they're grains when you're painting, don't worry too much because when your picture is dry, you should be able to brush those off at the end. So that's the pod coffee. This will also um, do the same thing if you're using coffee from a, a bodum or um, a grinder. Um, you'll, you will still get those little bits of coffee grains in your paint. This one here is instant coffee, so it's a little bit smoother. Um, you can make it as strong or as weak as you like. I've literally just put half a teaspoon of coffee into a bit of water and we're going to experiment to see what tones we can use. So this one makes that tone like that. Now you can always go over it and make it a bit darker once one layer dries. If you want to make it lighter then you obviously add more water. This one, slightly different, much weaker obviously from a used pod so it'll have a very different look to it but just experiment a little bit and see what it is that you like best now you can also use tea bags for this and they will do the same thing um, different teas will obviously make different tones so for this project you can use either tea or coffee so this one is more like a sienna kind of color this one is more of a darker brown um, but like I said, just play around a little bit and see what suits you. So you're going to start off by painting various sections of your boomerang. Now, in the video, we talked about the fact that the colors the Australian Aboriginal people used were natural pigments and various colors symbolized various things. So you can, if you want to, and you have access to paint, bring some color into your boomerang. That's absolutely fine. Um, but for this purpose and this project, we're gonna make ours very natural looking and we're really going to use the key colors of brown, black, and white. So what you do on one side, remember you want to do on the other side. Now, if you wanted to, you can either paint around the dots, like I have on this side, or if you wanted to, you can paint straight over the dots. So for the purpose of this project, we're actually going to paint over all my designs in tones of brown. And then after the paint is dry or the coffee is dry, we're going to go over it using dot art, which I will show you a little later. So I'm going to quickly do this to show you. I quite like the tone of the instant coffee. So I think I'm going to predominantly use that. I like the way that it's smooth. I don't really like the grains that come out. Um, if you don't mind them, then feel free to use the granular one. I like the smoother one. So we're just going to cover our quickly do that. Right. and I'm going to speed things up a little bit for you so that we can get through this project quickly and you can get going. Right, once you've covered your uh, boomerang and coffee and you've painted the background, the next thing you want to do is just Give it a minute or two to dry and then we're going to be doing the part of decorating our boomerangs using dot art. Now once again you are very very welcome to use brighter colors but for today's project I'm going to go with the more natural colors and I'm not even going to be using yellow and orange I'm just going to be sticking to black and white but feel free if you've got access to paint um, it can be this paint or it can be um, felt pens. You're very, very welcome to bring in a bit of color. Remember guys, based on the video that we watched, your colors can't be pretty colors like pinks and purples and pale yellows and sort of what I would call ice cream colors. 
they need to be the traditional colours that the Aboriginal people used, which were uh, dusty reds, dusty yellows, kind of an ochre yellow. Um, if you're using blues or green, let them be natural dusty greens and blues. Um, that's just more traditional. So I'm going to get going and I'm going to start off by using um, a, a permanent marker for my black dots and then you can either choose, you can use uh, acrylic paint for your white dots with the end of a paintbrush. If you don't have the end of a paintbrush to um, use, you can also use toothpicks, you can use um, q-tips or earbuds, cotton buds, anything that can give you a nice fine sort of tip to be able to uh, paint with. So we're going to start off with our black dots first and we're going to do these ones here. Now the dot art is very precise so if you're coloring in dots you want them to be even and you want them to be nicely rounded. You want them to be as precise as possible. If you've got just a normal black felt -tip pen, you can use that. Um, but I just find my permanent marker works really nicely to achieve that, net, that uh, nice solid black look. So I'm going to continue on with my pattern. And what you can do is on top of your black designs, you can use um, your white acrylic paint or in my case, I've decided I'm going to try and use correction pen or Tipex, which is great because it's got this really fine nib that you can just dot in the middle of your, of your black. Now what you want to do, which I haven't done yet, is shake it because you want a nice solid white coming out, not a watery um, kind of color. That's better. And you want a nice solid circle coming out on top of your black. If you feel that you need to do another layer of your white, then by all means do that. Um, but just test it out on your um, scrap paper. If you're finding it still too watery, which mine is, then just keep shaking it. Make sure that you are happy with it and you can always go over it again to create that nice solid white dot. So I'm going to do a little time lapse of my uh, dotting and have a look, see what you can do and come up with your own ideas and patterns and designs. And there you have your beautiful Australian Aboriginal dot art boomerang. Give it a go, have fun painting with coffee and um, designing some beautiful patterns of your own. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like, share and subscribe.